Well, there it is uh, in position. Um, it's all leveled up, as you can see. We're, we're trimming down bits and pieces here now, so I'm going to cut it down a little bit because uh, it's a thousand liters. I'm going to cut it down to uh, 900 liters, so uh, there's be plenty of room in there for the the fish. Um, That is what Andy would say, jobs are good in. Hi guys, uh, it's me back again. Um, following on from yesterday's uh, video, when I struggled with my good friend and neighbour next door, Dean, to get the uh, IVC round here. What I've actually done today is uh, cut it down, I'll show you. But that doubles as a lid for the winter. That, I've managed to get that in there and it rests on the uh, the other parts that I've cut off, it also protects you from snagging yourself or cutting yourself. Um, obviously, once it's put up the water, that will blow out back into the thing. I might put a cable car, a little screw in the top of each side there, uh, just to uh, just to keep it um, back. But I'll show you what else I've done. Take the camera off the tripod in a minute. I've also put a fence, a little fence round. Uh, that's to stop Lynn's tortoises. Um, that's what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. Getting that old filter out, giving it a damn good clean out. Uh, got the pump there, and that is going to actually sit behind there so it pumps into there now it's only a temporary filter I'm going to be making a uh, an easy pod homemade easy pod uh, under Vince's guidance and direction and plans um, cheers for that Vince and for those of you who don't know who Vince is I don't know where you've been but go over and check his channel out I've had some great support from uh, various people uh, it's what I do, check his channel out. Uh, Maxi, check his channel out. Uh, Sorry Koi Pond, check him out. They're all on YouTube. Uh, Gifster, Andy Daly, um, DT Koi, a few others. Uh, Chris Carey, and Martin, uh, Martin's uh, Koi Pond are gone. Please go and check them out and uh, just tell them I sent you. Um, one thing I'm feeling at the moment that it's the hammer. Catch you later. Oh, hi guys. Uh, just a little bit of an update uh, on the IBC. Uh, as you can see, it's filling up, pump in the back there, uh, it's running through this old um, filter of mine. What I've done is I've put some down pipes on that to minimise the splashing. A bit of a leak on one of the uh, unions, but. I think I can uh, tighten that up. Oh, I've washed those old sponges out and I've got some uh, Vercon S tablets on the way which I'm going to dose up that with to kill any bacteria so I can uh, get down and get some sponges. Uh, 
don't know what you can see in there they're all happy swimming about I've had a um, request from one of my subscribers Graham uh, hi Graham uh, thanks for the subscription by the way as to uh, the dimensions uh, the amount of fish what sort of fish I've got what's in the shower how I've wired it up etc I will be doing a, a video next week on that so uh, stay tuned and uh, have a look at that one anyway yeah uh, that's just a little update it's uh, I don't know what you can see down there it's uh, filling up nicely so uh, I'll catch you later well as you can see I'm uh, editing this week's video um, just turn you around a minute um, just a few uh, details of what I've actually done on there um, I went and got a, a weatherproof box for the electrics and uh, wired the pump which also uh, includes the filter and the uh, IV, uh, UV sorry IV, yeah. oh, I'm going mad, the UV um, so it's all up and running. Um, that cost me about 40 quid for the wire, it's good heavy duty stuff, I'm running it through um, a piece of old uh, tubing that I used for the filter in the past to protect it a little bit so uh, yeah um, I'll get on and edit this video uh, again I'd like to thank um, all of my subscribers and please like share and uh, continue to subscribe jobs are good take care and catch you later